Okay, let's see here. There we go. That was fast. Okay, so. Yannis an Tetokumpo? Let's see. Yannis an Tetokumpo. Yannis a Tetokumpo? Yannis an Tetokumpo. Yannis an Tetokumpo? Yannis got the best flow. Yannis got the best show. Yannis bought me a poodle. Yannis atata plu. Yannis ante de kumpo. Yannis halalalu. Ante de kumpo. Yannis ate ta 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 kuku. Yannis ante de kumpo. Yannis ate to kumpo. Oh, yes, I got it. What's going on, YouTube, Jersey Heads, and sports fans worldwide? I am your guy, Rez, and I am back again with y'all for another Jersey video. Let's jump into this video. So, uh, <laughs> I just want to go into detail with today's Jersey. I'm chuckling because if you guys saw that part in the beginning, yes, guys, I actually Googled on how to pronounce Giannis's last name, Atentacumpo. Did I say that correctly? Or is it Antetacumpo? Giannis Antetacumpo. The Greek freak, man. That's what I'm going to call him in this video. But I have a dope jersey that I want to share with you guys today. And I am rocking it, guys, right here. This is the Nike Authentic Milwaukee Bucks Giannis the Greek Freak jersey i'm not even gonna try to say his last name or anything i feel like you need one of those little you know bouncy balls in the bottom when you're like singing along like Giannis Atantacumpo. but i'm gonna call him Giannis in this video or greek freak because i'm not even gonna butcher his last name so Giannis, if you are watching this which i'm sure you're not but if you are i sincerely apologize man i do not mean to butcher your last name trust me my last name is pretty hard to you know, pronounced, but not as hard as yours. Anyways, I'm digressing, guys. I do want to share this jersey because right now I'm actually watching the game as I'm filming this video, and the Bucks are looking real solid right now, man. It is currently 78 Miami, Milwaukee 107, and it looks like they're going to wrap this game up. It's done. It's going to be 2-0 in this series. Cross my fingers. What a time to be an NBA fan right now, especially a Bucks fan. Guys, if you guys are Bucks fans, you already know Giannis is like your pride and joy of the Milwaukee organization right now, man. This dude is just a freak of nature. You know, he's a back-to-back -back MVP star, you know, from 2019 to 2020. The Greek Freak was also the 2021 NBA All-Star MVP Most Valuable Player. So that's something pretty good to put on your resume, sir. One of the most dominating players right now in the NBA. You know, one of the best power forwards in the game, you know, to, in this era here for, you know, a lot of basketball fans. But, you know, Giannis, really does remind me of like a Shaq, a young Shaq, man. This this dude is just super powerful. Um, you know, they don't call him the Greek freak for no, no reason, but you know, this jersey right here that I'm wearing, I'm paying homage to all my Bucks fans, all my Giannis Greek freak fans out there. This one's for y'all. This is the authentic version, guys. I know I've been sharing a lot of swingmans and stuff lately on the channel, but I do have authentics, guys, and this is one of them. Let's jump into details of the jersey that I'm wearing, shall we? So to start things off, this jersey does have this nice little blend of like polyester and cloth fabric, as you can see, just etched across the front and back of the jersey. This is like the newer type of technology that Nike now uses with their authentic jersey. Very thin, so you know, I know a lot of people complain about the Nike quality of the jerseys. Yes, to an extent, the quality is not as good as it used to be. This is the closest quality that we'll get to the players of what they're wearing on the courts currently. As I've mentioned in previous videos, the Nike NBA Swingman jerseys, there is no stitching on any of the accents or the numbers. Everything is heat applied onto the jersey. But with the exception of the authentic jerseys, you do have stitching now right here. And on the Milwaukee wood marking on the front of the jersey, it is single stitch right there with that like really like it's kind of like a creamish color with the stitching right there followed with Giannis's infamous number 34 that is also single stitched onto the jersey the jersey also does have like these perforated holes as you can see right there on the numbers both front and back of the jersey the jersey also features a stitch nike logo on the top right portion of the chest it is not printed like the swingman jerseys and then on the trim you have this 
like nice slow. It's kind of like a nude off white color right here. It's like a cream color on the arm sleeves and as well as the neck collar of the jersey. And then you also have the infamous jock tag from Nike and you have this nice embroidery right here which says fear the deer which is supposed to symbolize the Milwaukee Buck for the Bucks organization. And then of course you have right below it the infamous Nike jock tag and you do have the authentic branding right there on the side of the jock tag along with the size and now this also does have a length plus two guys. I do want to emphasize real quick that as I mentioned on my last video, if you have not seen that on my Luka Doncic Swingman jersey from Nike, the Nike Authentics do have Link Plus 2. The Swingman jerseys for the Nike jerseys currently do not have a Link Plus 2. I prefer to wear a size 52 for the Authentics because they do have the Link Plus 2 and fit a little bit bigger than the Swingman counterpart of the jersey. I know that sounds kind of weird, but the Swingman jerseys, they run a bit smaller than what they're tagged at. If I were to compare, I would say that the 52s the xls for the nike authentics the newer nike authentics uh are fit a little more true to size than the swingman jerseys of the newer nike line because um, there is no length plus two on the swingman jerseys for the current nike swingmans that are out today on the authentics you do get a length plus two so it does have that length so just be aware of that if that's what you guys are looking for moving on the back of the jersey you have the championship on the back right there that little gold tag which is one championship that the milwaukee bucks organization won and then followed by that you also have in a rubberized jerry west nba logo right underneath that gold you have Giannis's last name i'm gonna try one more time ante to to kum po did i get that right i don't know you tell me you have Giannis's number 34 on the back that is single stitch along with those perforated holes as well one of my favorite features of the jersey is the side panels right here you don't really see too many of these on a lot of jerseys in the nba today but you have these like nice designs right here with the jersey as you can see you have like that nice forest green and then you have that cream color then you have white and then you have this like dark navy blue and then you also have this like sport royal blue color right here i thought that's pretty dope right there with the color on the side panels right there it's like a different fabric than the actual like mesh portion of the jersey but it's super dope it has it on both sides along with that nice piping right there just etched across the sides of this jersey overall my final thoughts on this jersey i really like it you know i don't own too many bucks jerseys but i always felt like the bucks had one of the best jersey designs in the nba no lie especially like the older bucks jerseys that were worn like in the 90s you know i love that sublimated jersey with the deer that's a super dope jersey one of my favorite jersey designs in the nba i definitely gotta get me one of those so i could review it on the channel for you guys and also have it for the personal collection but the bucks like i said man their uniforms are one of the best in the nba in my opinion and again i know i'm gonna sound biased because you know green is my favorite color and this jersey is primarily green but but anyways that's pretty much going to wrap it up for me please share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think about the greek freak Giannis. I'm not even gonna say his last name. Do you think that he's one of the most dominating forces in the NBA today? Where do you think he's gonna go down in history in the NBA? And also let me know where you think the Milwaukee Bucks are going to end up this season in the NBA playoffs of 2021. Do you guys think they're gonna take it this year? Do you guys think no, better luck next time? Or you know, if you think there's another team, share your thoughts in the comment section below because I would love to hear what you guys think. Also, let me know what y'all think about this jersey right here. Are you fans of this jersey? Are you fans of the Milwaukee Bucks? Are you not? I will see y'all in the next jersey video. Your boy Rez is out. Giannis Antetokounmpo.